What a movie, Ken. One of the best, Mavis. I haven't seen that kind of acting since Casablanca. Maybe not even since Airbud. It's me, your old friend Mavis here for our semi-annual pledge drive. Boy, does it sure feel like it's been a while. I've had two whole haircuts since then. Ken is also here. We want to tell you about all the wonderful programming we have. And you know, we only do the pledge drive twice a year. And that's how we're able to keep bringing you all the great programming you love to watch, including the movie you're watching right now. And we're going to get you right back to that movie as soon as we reach our goal of $9,000. Now we understand times are tough, but you really keep us going here. So just send us whatever you can, whatever you find in the cushions. $1, $2, $300, $400, any $100 you can spare. And you know most pawn shops are open until 9 to tell you what your jewelry is worth, but you can't put a price on public television. Except what you're willing to donate. We know you're out there and we know you love to watch the movie and we know you'll call the on number. On your telephone. We know you'll call the number at the bottom of the screen. My mom always says, you shouldn't buy a chicken without tasting the feathers. What Ken means is for the next 30 minutes, three days, a month and a half, however long it takes to reach that $9,000 goal, we're going to show you some of what you're buying when you donate to us here at WASP. Now, we're going to be starting with a trip down memory lane. So get ready to start tapping your feet and singing right along. Here's a little taste of champagne music. Welcome, welcome. I'm Lawrence Welk, and guess what? It's spring. Isn't spring such a beautiful season? The birds and the bees and the birds and the bees making babies and the little stork birds bringing the baby birds to the mommy and daddy birds and the same for the bees making bee babies and the caterpillars and the praying mantises and the praying mantises making little praying mantis babies and then the mommy praying mantis bites the head off the daddy praying mantis. Nature is beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, let me introduce our first guests. All the way from Marvin Garden, brother and sister duo, Darla and Dickie Hardcastle. And a one, and a two. I've got you, and you've got me. A couple of lovers sitting neath a tree. Hold me, squeeze me, cover me in love. Shower me in kisses, fill me in like a glove. She's the girl I spotted from across the room. I met her long ago in my mother's womb. Uh -oh. He's the boy I used to bathe with in a tub. I still get so excited hearing rub a dub dub. Oh, we're two sides of the same coin. Ejaculated from the same moist lord. Cause no one better knows each other than a sister and a brother. I am glad that is over. Everyone give a big thank you to Darla and their kissing. <laughs> you would never see me kissing with my sister. For one thing, she has a toenail growing in the middle of her cheek. How do I know it's a toenail? It grows at the pace of one. Until next week, keep a song in your heart. You know, he's right. Nature is beautiful. You know what else is beautiful? Classical Hollywood cinema. We're so close to getting back to that movie. But before we go any further, our producers are telling me there was a technical difficulty and the number did not appear at the bottom of the screen. So here it is for you. Get a pen and pencil. Here it is. 1-800-638-4095. Once again, that's one is in the number of people that currently sleep in my bed. 800 is in the number of dreams I've had about Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Six is in six rats currently live in my basement. Three is in the number of parents that are disappointed in me. Eight is in I ate an entire corned beef pie for dinner last night. Four is in the amount of cats that ran away from me. Zero is in how many dates I got to the spring fling dance. Nine is in the amount of sorority girls that wouldn't let me join Kappa Kappa Nu. And five is in, well, that's just a number. Well, I love corned beef pie, but it's not time for supper just yet. It's time for space. Ken's right. Would you rather have a full belly or a full telly? If you give up supper for just one night a week, you can have public television every day of the week. And with that pledge, you'll get all of space right in your living room. My wife Sharon gives me space when she makes me sleep in the living room. So if you want to take a trip around the universe like the one we're about to see, 
you just call the number while we check in with our good friend Neil deGrasse Tyson and a special guest in my favorite show about space, Cosmos. Hi, welcome to Cosmos, the show we explore the science of space. I'm joined today by my second cousin on my stepsister's side, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Thank you, Mike, and thank you for joining us. Today, we're going to look through the far stretches of the universe. And I'm Mike Tyson. Let's explore the incredible science behind Neil, why does the sun wear sunglasses? Shouldn't we be the ones wearing sunglasses? And the sun is the only one who doesn't wear them? <laughs> what Mike is trying to say is that any tangible substance found on the Earth would melt instantaneously by the sun's 27 million degree core. Wow, that's almost as hot as my sauna. That's right, Mikey. Today's episode is going to be about... Meteors. No. Asteroids. No, it's going to be about... Super Mario Kart Rainbow Row. No, it's about gas planets and their chemical composition. Like Uranus. Well, if that helps. Uranus has 27 moons. The Earth has one moon. And the Earth revolves around it. Well, actually, Mike, our universe is heliocentric. Soon, we're going to get to a fight with the moon people. They're mad at us because the moon is round and the Earth is flat. The Earth isn't... There's no atmosphere. A species of lunar beings would never thrive. Well, that's all the time we got for today. Tune in next week when we explore the celestial supercluster system with our super sensitive telescope. Sweet dreams! We still have 40 minutes! They've really got me hanging off a cliff. We've got another clip to show you of yours at home, what you're paying so much money for. 